percentage word problems. This is a digital lesson. So the lesson starts with explaining that in order to solve percentage problems in word problems, we're going to use this formula is over of equals percent over 100. So they can memorize that. And we're going to start our word problems with a sentence frame, the same sentence frame on every problem. There are five word problems on this lesson. So if we use this sentence frame, it it allows us to put the numbers in the correct place. So I have the numbers from the word problem in red. So these are the numbers they're going to use. So the first word problem, 30% of the students at an assembly are wearing their school t-shirt. If 36 students are wearing their school t-shirt, how many students are at the assembly? Okay, so we're going to start on the next slide. There's the word problem again. We've got the two numbers from the word problem, 36 and 30. Well, the easiest way to place them in the sentence frame is to place the percentage first. So we know the percentage is 30. So they just click and hold on the edge, the blue box, and they can move that into place. Now the 36, it's either going to be the small number, the part, or the large number, which is the whole. So we don't know how many students at the assembly, that would be the total, that would be the large number. So 36 would be just the number that had their t-shirts. Now on the next slide, they're going to do the same thing again, place the numbers in the same place. 36, and they can go back and look if they need to. 36 is 30%, and then the blank that we don't know is the X. So we're going to put that X in the blank. Now that we have the numbers in the correct place in the sentence frame, now we can put them into the formula is over of equals percent over 100. So the number next to is is 36. So we're going to place it here. Of, the number next to of is actually the variable x. And then the percentage is 30. Now that we have it into our formula, we can cross multiply or use means and extremes and solve for x. So this very first problem, it's already done for them. So they can look to see if they did this correctly. Did they place these numbers correctly in the sentence frame? Did they place them correctly in the formula? So it shows them how to do this one. We're going to just cross multiply 36 times 100 equals 30 times x. If we solve for x, we're going to get 120. So what that means is the unknown was the number of students at the assembly which was 120. So they're just going to type 120. Okay, so that's the first word problem. The second word problem, Joel's making monthly payments to his dad to pay for his new drum set. He's already paid a $625, which is 25% of the total cost. What's the cost of the drum set? Okay, so we've got 625, we've got 25, and we've got our X and we need to place them correctly in the sentence frame. So 625 is not the total number, that's just how much he's paid so far. So that's the part. 25 is the percentage, so that's easy, that goes in the center. And then what we don't know is that total cost, the large number, the total cost of the drum set. So we're gonna put X. Now we're gonna Use the same sentence frame we did on the previous slide. So if they need to go back and look, they can. So 625 is 25% of X. And we're going to use the formula is over of equals percent over 100. We know the percent is 25, so we're going to move that here is number next to is is 625 and of is what we don't know we don't know the total so we're going to put x here okay now we're going to use algebra to solve this 
So here we're going to be typing. So we had from the previous slide 625 over x. We're just repeating what they figured out from the previous slide. And the percentage was 25%. Now, they're going to use their scratch paper. They're going to solve through means and extremes or cross multiplication. 625 times 100 equals 25 times x, and then they're going to solve for x. So what they find out is the price of the drum set is going to be $2,500. We can put the dollar sign in our answer. Okay, so we're going to do that with the next few problems. So again, word problem number three is about the percentage. Now this time they're solving for the percentage. She wants to know what she got as a score on her math test if she got 42 out of 50 correct. So the x is going to go here and they're going to solve it exactly the same way. Problem four. And then problem five is a little bit different because they're trying to find the number of students who did not receive an A. They know how many received an A, and they know that that was 12%. So what they have to solve for first is how many students are in the class, and that would be that total number. Once they find out how many students are in the class, then they subtract the three that got an A to find out how many did not receive an A. So that one's a little bit tricky. They have to do some thinking on that one. Okay, so these are percentage word problems, digital copy.